Did you know that the first computer programmer was a woman? Her name was Ada Lovelace. In the 1840s, she suggested a set of data rules to develop an early computing machine. Ada predicted that we could use numbers to teach machines how to do things like produce images and sounds, all of which came true a century later with the invention of computers. My friend Tyler should thank Ada for her genius. Without her, he may not be able to play his favorite computer games. Speaking of computer games, we're going to be doing a really fun activity today. Learn how to program a computer game. Programming is like writing a set of instructions that the computer can understand and follow. Think of it like you're a captain in the army giving a set of instructions to his platoon of computers. Game developers today usually use game engines like Unity and Unreal Engine, but today we'll be using Scratch. Scratch was developed by MIT for kids like us to learn programming the fun way, and it's free to use. There are many tools available on Scratch for us to use and create a game, but for this simple tutorial, we'll be using game assets from an Argos World episode. You can download the files from the link here and save it to your computer. The aim of the game is to prevent the leprechaun from stealing the gold at the other end of the screen. Are you ready? Let's start creating our very own game. First, open Scratch on your browser, click Create. Under File, load the Argo Game Scratch file from the location in your computer where you saved it. Now we need to program each asset to perform certain behaviors when actions are taken. For example, when we click the screen, we want to throw a frisbee at the leprechaun and make him disappear. So let's code the frisbee. Click on the frisbee icon. Under Events, pull in the When Clicked block. This is to indicate to the program that the game has started. It tells the program to run all the following codes below that we are going to build right now. Under control, pull in the forever block. Next, put in the if blank then else block. Go to sensing and drag in the mouse down. Next, pull in a if blank then block. Under operations, put in the blank equals block. Then change the value to zero. Under variables, put in the clicked in the blank. Next, under control, drag in create clone of myself. Going back to variables, put in the set click to block and change the value to one. Under the else portion, drag in another set click to block. Keep the value at zero. If we were to read the code out, it'll sound exactly like a set of instructions. When the green flag is clicked, the game starts and continues forever. If a mouse button is pressed down, then the one frisbee appears. When the mouse button is released, the code is reset to the top. If no mouse button is pressed, nothing happens and the game continues to run. That's one part of the programming process for the frisbee. Another part is making the frisbee appear and move in the right direction. This portion has already been done for you, so you can start playing the game right now. Or you could always take apart the coding blocks and see if you can rebuild it on your own. What other fun things can you do with Scratch? Perhaps you could create your very own interactive comic strip. Or come up with a totally new game. As my favorite scientist Marie Curie once said, Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Don't let fear keep you from exploring. See you next time. To watch more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.